Hello and welcome to another fishing tutorial. In this episode, we're gonna look at how to catch perch. Perch are one of my favorite fish to target. And in this video, we're gonna take an in-depth look at how to catch them. So you've clicked on this video because you want to learn how to catch more perch. Today, I'm gonna to break down the vast topic of perch fishing into a few key sections. Location, tactics, baits, lures and tackle. Let's get started with where to find perch. European perch are native to almost all of Europe, but have been introduced to Ireland, Italy and also Australia and New Zealand. They can live for over 20 years and grow to sizes over six pounds, although that is an incredibly rare fish in the UK. The biggest fish tend to be caught in mainland Europe. You're most likely to find perch in slow moving rivers, canals, and deep lakes. Perch tend to not like fast flowing or cold waters, although you will find the occasional fish in these places. It's worth asking in tackle shops or looking on online forums to learn a bit about where the perch are in your local area. Some rivers or lakes just tend to have better populations of perch than others. Once you've chosen a venue, finding the perch is as simple as finding the best cover for them. By that, I mean overhanging trees, undercut banks, tree roots going into the water, anywhere where the perch can sit and wait for prey to swim past. On rivers, stay away from fast flowing powerful water as you're much more likely to find the perch in slower moving flow and also deep slack areas. On lakes, try the bottom of a marginal shelf. Here you'll often find snags and branches and also food for the perch. Also keep in mind that larger perch will be preying on small silverfish. So if you do find a shoal of roach, rudd or similar, then there may be big perch nearby. Finding perch, just like any other species, can be tricky. So the first thing I like to do is have a cast around with lures. This is a way of covering a lot of water, trying a lot of different areas and finding out if there's any perch about. This leads me nicely on to the next topic of the video, tactics. Our main choice of tactics for perch fishing are lure fishing, ledgering and float fishing. Which of these tactics we choose to use depends on a number of different factors and I'll run through these things now. If we have no idea where the perch are going to be, or we're fishing a very large piece of water, we'll normally reach for our lure tackle. This is because you can cover a lot more water. You can make a load of different casts, walk miles and miles of bank, and find out if there's any hungry perch about. On the other hand, if you're fishing a smaller water or a particular spot where you know there's perch about, you can often waste time casting lures again and again in front of fish which aren't willing to bite them. In the event that we know that a perch living somewhere, we'll more often than not fish with a ledger or float, feeding maggots and cut up prawns and using either a worm, maggot or prawn on the hook. This method of feeding little and often will encourage the perch to feed confidently in your swim and therefore make it a lot easier to catch them. To tie a perch ledgering rig, you will need the following items. A small lead or maggot feeder, a Guru speed bead, some five pound fluorocarbon, and a size eight or six hook. Pass your main line through the eye of the lead. Detach the speed bead and thread the bead section onto your main line. Tie on the swivel with a half blood, palomar or uni knot. Moisten the knot before pulling it tight and trimming the tag end. The setup will settle down like this. Take around eight inches of fluorocarbon and tie the end to your hook. Again, a half blood knot is our choice for this. At the other end of the hook link, tie a figure of eight loop knot. Loop the hook link onto the speed bead swivel and the rig is complete. 
When ledgering, you can either watch the rod tip or use a bobbin. Both methods have worked for us, but specimen anglers will often use a bite alarm and a long drop on the bobbin to ensure the perch don't feel any resistance. Alternatively, if you prefer to watch a float rather than your rod tip or a bobbin, you can float fish for perch too. This is something we tend to do when fishing really close in. Float fishing can be a very exciting method when you're fishing just under your rod tip. As far as float rigs go, we cover a simple float fishing rig in our recent how to float fish video. That film is linked in the description below so you can check that out if you would like to learn how to tie a float fishing rig. The only difference to the rig when specifically targeting perch is upping the hook size. We'd use something like a size 8 or 6 when using a big prawn or worm as a hook bait. Also perch do have big hard mouths so a larger hook is more likely to stay in place. Now let's look at some baits to try for perch. As loose feed you can't beat maggots or casters. Regularly spraying these little and often over the area that you're fishing will really help to draw in those perch and also draw in lots of shoals of small silverfish which will in turn fire up the perch. On the hook you can get away with using maggots if there aren't too many small fish about but to cut out the chances of catching the really small roach and rudd we'd advise using something like a prawn or a worm or two. Often tipping this with a single maggot can really do the business and it has been a great bait combination for us in the past. Using small live and dead baits can often work incredibly well, but remember to always use a wire trace when using baits like this because you have got a good chance of catching pike too. So that's bait covered, now let's look at lures. Firstly, we'd like to share with you the active methods of lure fishing. Jigging with soft plastics, spinning, and crankbaits are all methods where you cast and retrieve relatively quickly covering a lot of water. These methods work quite well whilst exploring new spots and can give you a quick idea whether there's any hungry perch around. However, on days when the fish aren't feeding too hard or when you already know the precise area of the fish, you may want to switch to something more slow and subtle. This is where drop shotting or ned rigs come into play. Mine and Carl's favourite method for perch fishing is drop shotting. It's a great way to move your lure very slowly through the swim and catch those fish which aren't necessarily really aggressively feeding. On the drop shot we'll use either a soft plastic lure or a real worm. On days where it's really tough a real worm can be a winner. However it's important to remember that a drop shot rig is made of fluorocarbon material. Pike can bite through fluorocarbon line so we wouldn't advise using this rig where there are lots of small pike about. In this situation we'd recommend either bait fishing or lure fishing but making sure to use a wire trace. To set up a drop shot rig you will need some fluorocarbon, five pound is okay for small fish and clear areas but we use 10 pound where it could be really snaggy. As well as fluoro you will need a hook, we use something around size eight to size four. An eight is good for little soft plastics and a four is more suitable for larger soft plastics and real worms. Lastly you will need a drop shot weight, these come in a range of sizes Pick your size based on the depth of the water you'll be fishing. The deeper the water, the larger the weight you'll need to keep in contact with the lure. Cut off around one meter of fluorocarbon. Pass the hook onto your line and thread it about halfway down the line. Create a loop with the hook hanging at the bottom of it. Then create another loop with the line and begin to pass it through the first loop. Ensure the hook stays hanging at the bottom whilst you pass the loop around four or five times. Then you have to put the hook eye through the new loop. Pinch it in place to ensure the eye doesn't come out from the loop. Moisten the knot and then begin to tighten it down, pulling on both ends evenly. Tweak the hook and knot down tight. The position should be like this. This knot isn't the easiest to tie, but with practice you'll be able to do it easily and I promise it creates a much better presentation than the Palomar knot. With the hook attached, you'll now want to attach the drop shot weight beneath the hook. When we are casting far out, for example on a big reservoir, we'll put the weight around 9 to 12 inches away from the hook. If fishing closer in, then we'll put the weight just 6 inches or so from the hook. This is because when you cast further, the line angle to the rig is more acute, so your hook is going to be closer to the bottom. The only other time we'd fish with the weight quite far away from the hook is if there's lots of weed about, 
and we want the hook to be sat well above the weeds in order to not get snagged. To work a drop shot lure, it really doesn't take much movement of the rod at all. After you've cast it out into the water and let it hit the bottom, simply vibrate the rod a little before slowly reeling in and vibrating again. You can do this as slow as you like or as fast as you like. It really does depend on how the fish are reacting on the day. Some days you can be moving it really fast across the bottom and the fish are just attacking it. Often on the harder days, you'll have to be as slow and as patient as possible to get those bites. Now, if drop shotting is a little slow and dull for you, or you just want to fish a lure fishing method a bit faster, then you'll be wanting to use something like a jig, spinner, or crankbait. When using a lure like one of these, we would definitely advise the use of a wire trace. This is because when the inevitable pike does come along, it won't bite through your line. To tie up a little perch fishing trace, you will need some wire trace material. Look for a fairly low diameter wire if you can. You'll also need a micro swivel, a link clip like this one, some crimps and a crimping tool. Scissors or wire cutters will also be essential. My crimp tool here actually has got wire cutters at the end. First, cut off around eight to 10 inches of wire. Thread on a crimp and pass the wire through the eye of the link clip. Then pass the wire back through the crimp and tighten it down towards the clip. A small gap leaves room for movement. Next, take your crimping tool and compress the metal crimp to trap the material tightly in place. It is important to use a specific crimping tool rather than pliers as the crimp must be compressed at the correct amount to ensure total strength. Trim the tag end and then repeat this process at the other end of the trace, but with a micro swivel. With a trace like this tied up, all you need to do is tie the swivel onto the braid, clip on alert and get fishing. If you are choosing to fish with a spinner or hard bait, then it's just a case of clipping the lure on and you're ready to fish. However, when fishing with a soft plastic, you'll need to rig them up on a jig head. And that's what we'll show you how to do now. You will need a soft plastic lure of around seven centimeters. This is a good starting size and what we use for most of our perch fishing. A jig head, five to 10 gram is perfect. And super glue. Firstly, take your soft plastic lure and line it up with the jig head. By doing this, you can see exactly where the hook needs to exit the lure. Make a small nick in the lure to mark it. Thread the lure onto the hook until you reach the mark that you've made. Thread the lure the whole way onto the jig head. To secure the lure in place, dab a small amount of super glue onto the jig head and let it dry. Tie your leader onto the eye of the jig head or clip it onto a trace and you're ready to go. It's then a simple case of casting and retrieving the lure until you find the perch. There are a few different ways to retrieve the lure. The most effective retrieve that we've found is by letting the lure hit the bottom then making a few turns on the reel, then letting the lure hit the bottom again. Just repeat this the whole way in. Often the perch will hit the lure just as it's falling to the bottom. Perch fishing tackle. For perch fishing, a small net and mat is necessary. As well as this, a pair of forceps is a must in case you deep hook a fish or indeed catch a pike. For lure fishing, a nice light rod around seven foot is ideal. Remember, you'll be holding it at all times. A small 1,000 or 2,000 size reel spooled up with 10 pound braid will be the perfect setup. If you are ledgering, it's not so important that you have a lightweight rod as you won't be holding it all day. A standard 10 to 12 foot quiver tip rod or Avon style rod will work fine. This coupled with a 2,500 size reel with six to eight pound mono will do the job. A small bank stick is also handy or even a bite alarm if you're waiting it out for that one big perch. So there's our guide to catching perch, but have you ever seen a seven pound perch? I definitely advise clicking the video here to watch my trip of a lifetime to Holland where we catch some absolute giants. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers for watching.